We are watching video of the fabulous Grant Union High School drumline and its director, James Van Buren, who is multitasking. He is directing the drumline. He is also made at Sac State and redefining the possible. This is Made at Sac State, the video magazine. I'm Gloria Moraga, and thank you very much for joining us. Uh, teacher James Van Buren, Mr. V, as his students call him. Thank, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. And I'd love for you to introduce our guests, your students. Uh, this is Classy Bent, and this is Michaela Coleman. You are Made at Sac State? My uh, time here was crazy, and sometimes I didn't believe that I was actually going through it, but it was wonderful at the same time. Uh, the professors that I had were great. They're, um, they shaped, taught me a lot of the things that I needed to know. I was actually working in the field that I was in while I was pursuing my multiple subjects. Uh, actually, I was working as a, uh, in a field as a special ed teacher, but I was receiving training for a multiple subject credential. And then after I finished with my multiple subject credential, the state law said, no, you need to have a special ed credential. So it was extended stay. It started off in 2000 and ended in 2008. All right, I want to talk about your current job. You're kind of famous, you know. Uh, tell us about uh, Grant Drumline. You know, I keep hearing this. <laughs> uh, well, Grant Drumline originally was uh, started to give at-risk kids something to do after school, you know, provide extracurricular activity, but at the same time it was to, uh, we had an incredible football team, if you know Grant High School, and so they needed a band, a performing arts band that could match that power. And so they came to me and asked me about that when we started it. And uh, we started in my classroom. Matter of fact, after the Super Bowl uh, a show was done, a documentary was done on that drum line in my classroom. And we continued, I, one gig would beget another, and before I knew it, I was being called by, from the Sacramento Kings, Mayor Johnson, and we were everywhere. And uh, like last year, we were on uh, ABC television with Jimmy Kimmel. <laughs> and ladies, how, uh, let's start with Classy. How is it to perform? I, I've seen you, and you just are all fabulous beyond fabulous. What's it like being in the drum line? It's really cool. It, it's actually amazing because um, you get to experience a lot and then like you get to see different things outside of the like the city. People do different things. Kayla, you want to give us some input here? Um, what do, What's it like? Pretty much what she said. It's like it's a good experience. We get to go a lot of places, meet a lot of people and Lately, we've been getting a lot of recognition because we've been on TV and in newspapers and all over the internet. And everybody's like, oh, you're famous. I'm like, I'm oh, not famous. I'm just a student in high school on the drum line. What's your number one message for the students about education and about not quitting? Uh, because it took you a while to get your degrees, but you never gave up. Absolutely. And they know I'm adamant about great grades. Uh, and great or number one. Many times they'll tell me, hey, look, I can't come to practice. I need to get a research paper done. I need to do this. And I always tell them, grades are first. The papers are first. Drumline will be here. If you need to take off, they understand that uh, I don't want them coming to gigs. Those are performances that we have. If they know they have an extremely important paper, they know how long. I've told them many times how long it took me to get just an undergraduate, let alone to credentials, and I don't want them to go through that when they understand that uh, education is number one, and I want them all to attend college, and they know that. And we want you all to attend Sac State so that you can be made at Sac State. <laughs> How easy to work with, because you're very precise, and you really, you know, really march on that line, don't they? How is, how is he? Is he a tough one? Um, he can be at times. <laughs> Most of the time he's like easy going, but if he pushes buttons, he will get on you. He like, he doesn't just let you do whatever you want to do. There's some rules to being on the drum line. What can you say about donating? 
Right now we're raising money to go to Washington, D.C. And after we've uh, performed in Washington, D.C., we'll come back and we'll raise money to go to Europe. Our plan is to actually see the uh, uh, Queen's Band play. We'd like to see that. And uh, it'd be Everyone, all my drummers, never been abroad before. I played as a musician. I took a band over there. I lived in uh, London. I lived in Paris. I was there for about a year under my own group's name. And I enjoyed that. It was an incredible experience for me. And so I want to share that experience with my students. All right. And we thank all of you for being here. Uh, thank you for your music and your entertainment. It's absolutely fabulous. And listen to them. Uh, school is, uh, education is everything. Thank you. All right, thank you, Mr. Right. B, and thank you, students. And we are not going to leave the segment without hearing more from Mr. B's drum line. Take a listen.